RTU simulation under task mode is simpler than master simulation. The most important item to remember is that all input points must be configured before communication is started. Output points need not be configured except for DNP3 protocol. A DNP3 device must configure a binary output status point for every control relay output block to be controlled and an analog output status point for every analog output point to be controlled. The point indices must match. For example, Defining binary output status point with an index of 3 causes control relay output block index 3 to be configured. In DNP3 task mode, R2 simulation, a control request issued to a non-configured point will be rejected with an appropriate status code. Control output states and values are copied to the associated binary or analog input status point. For any other protocol, all controls are always accepted. To start R2 simulation in task mode, select R2 simulation mode in the bottom left portion of the ASC2000 view. R2 simulation supports a single task called scan responses. Select that task and start. The messages or line monitoring views show message exchanges, but the point list is the most important. All input points are shown along with the most recent data value sent. The raw value is shown in the raw column, and this value can be linearly converted by a scale and offset to generate an engineering unit's value shown in the value column. The default is no conversion. To send a new value, simply enter it in the raw field. The line will change to dim as shown, indicating that a new value has been entered but not yet sent to the master. Once sent, the view changes to normal video. Each manual entry generates a time tagged events message, which is transmitted to the extent supported by the underlying protocol. Point quality codes can also be changed for protocols such as DNP3 and IEC that support this feature. The point values view contains one additional column for R2 simulation called increment. A non-zero increment field causes automatic periodic point changes for the point's underlying raw value. For analog and pulse or counterpoints, the value is periodically added to the point's raw value. For binary or status points, an increment value of 1 causes the state to periodically toggle. For a 2-bit status point, the value can be 1, 2, or 3, and a new 2-bit state is periodically calculated by exclusive ORing the increment value against the last transmitted state to form a new state. The application period that is, how often the increment value is applied, is set in the exception field in the R2 simulation task. The default is 2 seconds. The increment is applied whenever the exception period expires, as long as any previously incremented values have been transmitted. For example, if the increment period is 2 seconds, then a change is generated every 2 seconds, but 
if the master had not scanned and acquired a value before the exception period expired twice, then the increment value would not be applied the second time. This completes the task mode videos for most protocols. A final video is provided for special consideration for IEC 6870-5-104.